We've been checking in with local artist Danny Lane all morning. He's been creating a piece of artwork live in our studio, and next Thursday you're going to be able to check out his artwork for yourself. His solo exhibit opens at Art Associates Gallery. He's here giving us a look inside. Your exhibit is called Bones. Of course, you've been in here creating a, a masterwork of meteorologist Ben Terry. This is so much fun to watch. As I, got a, I got a good reference to work off of. You Ben's do. A, a heck of He's a guy. got an artistic face. He's like, as it's it like is. drawing a Greek god right now. <laughs> like a Greek god, Mr. Ben Terry over there. Tell us a little bit about how you got started um, as an artist. When, when did you start drawing and doodling and doing all this stuff? Uh, ever since I was a little kid, I saw the picture. My brothers had a whole bunch of comic books, and I saw a picture of Spider Man, and I drew it. And I liked it, and then I found out that people actually do this for a living, and I was like, I want to do that, and also I'm really bad at math, Yeah. so my, the art really helps out in that situation. <laughs> Those who can't add draw, I think, is the <laughs> saying, uh, how that goes. Of course, you were actually an art teacher for a number of years. Yeah, I was. Uh, elementary, K through 5, it was a lot of fun. Got to uh, share something I'm really passionate about with the kids, and uh, the kids, you know, they really liked it, too. They liked the paste. It tasted good. And of course, you are opening a new uh, a solo exhibit. Have you ever had an exhibit no, before? No, I haven't. I haven't had a solo exhibit. I've been in a couple of little shows and stuff, but uh, it's the first time, and it's all my, my bone stuff I've been working on for about six months. And uh, they're a lot of fun to do because you got the, the really hard, rigid lines of the, of the ink, and then you got the kind of just wishy-washy element of the, the watercolor that kind of, I think they look good together. They and I really like animals, do. So. Okay, so I want to talk about the process here. Do you start out with an, an underlying drawing of all those bones, or do you yes. do the outline of the, the creatures themselves first? Well, I do the, I draw the bones first to see if I get it to fit on there, and then after it doesn't fit, I'll erase it, and I'll do it again, <laughs> and then I'll draw all my, uh, the ink with, uh, uh, I use an ink well and a brush because it just goes a lot faster. And then I use a liquid watercolor on top and then get it wet and do it. And it kind of just goes where it goes. And then you kind of got to be happy with it. It, it. it is an incredible look. It's something that's so unique to be able to sort of peer inside of these animals. What kind of references do you use to get uh, these bones so accurate? A lot of Google images, references, uh -huh. and cross looking at a bunch of different ones. I look at uh, illustrations that other people have done of bones and also like uh, complete skeletons that people put together. and. Uh, just a How long does it take you to, to create one of these from start to finish? Uh, about four or five hours or so. Okay, and pretty I'm, quick in my the, opinion. Yeah, well, I'm, a, I'm not the bread, but I'm pretty quick at with, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, but I got like, I think 50 pieces that I've done in the past six months or so. And, uh, it's been a lot of fun. I it really has like been doing a lot of fun watching the, the, the series sort of create itself on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can follow Danny on Facebook. Just give him a, a little look up there, Danny Elaine Artist on Facebook. You can kind of watch the progress here. You do a lot of call-outs for people to make suggestions for different right. animals. That's usually when I run, I'm like, duh, I've done every animal. I can't think. And there's like a million animals, so I mean, I should never <laughs> run out. But I'm like, oh, I did a fish. Now what can I do? <laughs> so if people want to come and check out this work, where do they need to go and when do they need to be there? It's going to be Central school uh second floor in the art associates gallery i believe yes. and it's going to be uh next thursday the 11th from five to seven and uh i will have a veggie tray a veggie there tray will, well you know we can't do be. anything without uh, a little free food and veggie trays around here okay so that is next thursday is the opening mm -hmm. of this exhibit of course it'll be on display for uh, i believe a month or so yeah all right Until so you'll have time stuff out. I don't know. time to be able to check that all out and of course you have been working on this let's take a look at, at the progress ben if you want to check out Wow. Probably have to tilt it forward just a little it. bit. And there's Ben Terry, <laughs> awesome. a masterwork of our <laughs> meteorologist. That's fantastic. You know, people are probably going to ask you to stick around the studio for a while and, and uh, draw everybody's <laughs> portraits, all of our uh, on-air personalities. Thanks so much for coming yeah, by no and Thanks sharing this with me. us. It's always fun to come. This is always a lot of fun visiting with Danny Elaine. Be sure to check out his work next Thursday. All right, go ahead and stay with us. We're going to wrap things up after the break.